Hi, uh, today we're going to learn about cohesive devices and in particular sentence connectors. Now these are the words that we use in paragraphs to connect our sentences and our ideas together. You're going to see how students work in pairs, groups and through discussions between themselves and of course with me. So let's get started. Uh, good afternoon and today we're going to continue on with our lesson on cohesive devices. Okay. Now I want you to look at this, uh, this paragraph. Now it's in your book, if you want to have a look in your book, but it's up here as well. There's a problem with this paragraph. Okay, so there's, there's a few things that we can do to improve this paragraph. Okay, so have a, have a little look at it. Can anyone think of anything that uh, could be done to this paragraph to improve it? You could connect the sentences. Okay, yeah, you could connect the sentences more clearly, right? Okay, and uh, does anyone know how we can do that? Devices. Oh, okay. So, uh, do we uh, do we know any of these sort of words that we can use? And, and, but, uh, for, and. S. Okay. Yeah. Good. 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 That's good. All the connectors. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Different connectors. Yeah. All right. Marie, what, do about, you know what about because? Is it a connector or cohesive device? It is a type of connector, that's for sure, yes. Okay. We, can, we can use some of these words as well. All right. uh, but today what we're going to look at is uh, we're going to look at more uh, commonly used academic words uh, like this. So you can see how we've got words that are similar to this, but actually there's a few other ones here. And these are what we call uh, sentence connectors. So they go from there to there, like that. Now sentence connectors, if you think about them, I just want to introduce them a bit to you now. All right. They are a type of cohesive device and they're used to connect ideas in a paragraph together. So like these words up here as well, these words can be in different positions in the sentence. All right. So. Let's have a look at the word moreover, for example. Okay, moreover can be like that at the start of the sentence. But also moreover can be in the middle of the sentence, like that. It can also be like that in the sentence, where it's connecting two sentences together to make a longer sentence. Now what we're going to do today, everyone, is we're not actually going to look at uh, these particular usages. We're going to actually look at this one. And the idea of cohesive devices together to join sentences at the start. So it's good to think about these sentence connectors in different groups in terms of their meanings. Because there's a variety of these and they all have different meanings depending on how we're going to connect our ideas together. And they can be divided into different types. So the main broad types are results, addition, Examples, contrast, time, and comparison. So maybe you've actually seen sort of some of these words used, but you've never probably thought exactly the meaning of the sentences that are linked together by these words. So I thought I'd just let you think about this in terms of the different meanings. So here's a sentence here, okay, about uh, development of communication systems. And the next sentence here starts with the word thus. And the reason why we use thus in that situation is it's showing a result of the development of the internet. Okay. So you're saying from here, talking about the development, and here's a specific result. So a word like thus can be used. When you follow on, we have another sentence here. This time it's a different word. It's moreover. And moreover can show additional information here, additional use of internet communication. Okay, if we continue, we've got for example here. And for example shows a specific example, in this case, of how the internet is used to provide information and services. We have a look. However, in this case, the word however shows a contrast, introducing possible problems within, with internet communication. 
going on to an, another example of a sentence connector for instance and here it's a, another example of such problems relating to internet communication finally then we got a word or a phrase like as a result and here it's showing the result of the problems with internet communication so hopefully you can see here that the choice of word and the meaning of each of the sentences in the paragraph is very important and you need to use specific words for this. Now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you into, uh, into pairs for this activity. Okay? So maybe um, Guy, Justin, you, you two can work together. How about Maria and Caroline, you can work together. Um, maybe I'll get someone, maybe Lee, can you come over here and join um, Gloria here? You guys can work together. I'm going to give you some of the sentence connectors. And I want to see how you go we're dividing these into their different meanings. All right, so you can make a bit of a space on your desk. Okay, I'll give you blue for you to go. Uh, white because you two are pure, like the driven snow on a winter's morning. And you can edit that. You can see the headings. So put the headings. There's three headings. We only do three types. The meanings. Let's see if you can organise the words. Is this the same as Nandalus, right? Yeah, it's very similar. Yeah. Also, they both yeah, have step, step minutes. Yeah, you can see that I am a girl, consequently oh. you're a girl. Yeah. I think that's good. Yeah. Um, contrast, addition will be more over. On the other hand, it's a contrast. Conversely, it's a contrast, therefore it's the result. Thus, it's a result, hence it's a result, and addition is an addition. Uh, is addition, addition, is addition. Yeah, we done. Okay, shall we check, shall we check your answers, alright? Everyone have a look up here. Now, when I call your name, I'd like you to come up to the board here. We've got the uh, sentence connectors here. Uh, and all I want you to do is Keep in mind what you've got on your, uh, in front of you and just drag the word like that up here. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> right. It's like you've never seen this before. It's like you've never used this before. All right, so Joyce, would you like to start? Alan, yes. now that uh, everyone's done that, are there any here that you'd like to change? Maybe. What do you think? I think so. Oh. Right? Well, think about how we use that word, yeah? <laughs> how, about, how about like this? It was raining, nevertheless, they went to the beach. Oh, it's contrast. Yeah, contrast. contrast? Yeah. Oops. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, well, why don't we check it? Whoa. Whoa. Well done. And they were not given the answers before. Okay, so these, these are very important words to use when you're writing, and in particular to connect the sentences in each paragraph, yeah? All right, so uh, can we pack them up, please? And can you put them, uh, put them back into uh, the file for me? Thank you. All right, let's have a look at this picture. Android or iPhone? iPhone. 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 Yeah, okay. iPhone. Well, iPhone. I think what we need is, uh, I think we need to make some teams for this. All right. Okay. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a number. Okay. I want you to remember your number. Okay. It can be number one, okay. two, three, four, five. So let's make some teams. I want number one. I want you to get together. All right, number two, I want you to get together. Three, please get together. Four and five, get together. Get together with the same number, sit somewhere. Where are we getting together? Okay, doesn't matter, anywhere you want. Outside. Anywhere you want. Not outside, inside, inside. Somewhere near a desk. Take your books, take your pens. Are you five? All right, I want to I wanna let you guys uh, talk about iPhones or Android. Which one do you prefer, all right? And why? Talk about why. Which one do you have, yeah?
Okay, so um, it sounds like a lot of you are Android lovers. No? Yeah? Okay, well, uh, maybe after this next bit, uh, you might actually change your mind about which one uh, you like. I'm, li I'm hearing uh, you were saying that um, Android has free, free downloads. Yeah? So iPhone doesn't? A rich guy. <laughs> I have both. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you said you have um, an iPhone. Yeah. Why do you have an iPhone? Because I think it's like Android is more complicated than iPhone for some reason. The layout. You have to like press so many buttons to get into one thing. Or <laughs> iPhone take thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So actually, if you would ask yeah. an Android user, iPhones are much more complicated. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, 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 I think it all depends on what you get yeah. used what to. You, yeah. Um, because like in Android, there's a button like uh, the home button and yeah. the back button, whereas iPhone just had that one button where yeah. you just go home. <laughs> uh, well, uh, maybe we can we can uh, talk more about this uh, after the next activity because uh, let's see if we can have a bit of a race here, okay? And uh, you are in uh, groups of three, so the three of you. I want you to choose your roles. So we have someone who, what's this person doing? Running. All right, that's right. So they're a runner. So who want, who's feeling energetic? It's time for you to run. Not out the class. In the class. How about this person? Writer. Who's going to be the writer? And this one, look at this person. What's he doing? And what's he holding in his hands? He's the, he's the thinking card holder. All right. So if you want to hold some cards and think, let's choose that job. Writer, what do you need? Pen. All right. Writer, you need a pen. Do you have a pen? Yes. You're a student. You should have a pen. And I have the paper. All right. So writer, who's going to be the writer here? Card holder, thinker person. All right. Who's the card holder? There we go. There we go. Oops. Yeah, there we go. Now, runner, I'm going to put some of these around the room. So, runner, your job, when I say go, is to stand up and read the cards and try and remember what you read, then come back and tell your writer. Writer, you have to listen to what the runner tells you and write down exactly what they say card holder, once the runner gets a couple of sentences, you have to start thinking about which card is going to start each of the sentences. Okay, you have to think very carefully about the meaning of each sentence, yeah? So let's just do the first one together. Now look at, writer, look at your, look at your paper. You've got the first sentence, yeah? So runner, your job, you don't need to do the one, it's here, you don't need to read, you can start with number two. You read that first one, go back, say it to the writer. Writer, listen, write exactly. Now, if it's too long, come back, read it again. Keep coming back as, as much as you want, okay? I want you to do all of them. Doesn't matter which one you do, any order, whatever you want. Okay, so ready, start, go. Selections. Controlled and emphasized apps. Less controlled and emphasized apps. In regards to mobile gaming and multimedia assets. Multimedia access. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now it's the advantage of iPhone. Yeah. However, mm -hmm. Apple yeah. surpasses. Yeah. It's an add on. Yeah, add on. So it's. I think it's like this. Likewise. Likewise? Really? <laughs> While their applications are. The applications are. While the, the applications are um, less control. Less control. And emphasizes. And emphasizes. Uh, free apps. 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 Free apps.
Mm. You use it already? Which one do you think there's like I think more have over uh, more have, have to I, I'm not so sure. Number 66. Six. <laughs> oh! 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 So I think this is an extra maybe uh, yeah, this will be at some point here. Yeah? Yep. So what do we think? Does that show does that show additional that shows the result? And then here so features. So here are some features. Is it for example? For example, that's right. Good. Alright, okay. Okay, so this one here, uh, Apple. So this is talking about Android. It's good. Okay, that's right. However, yeah. Okay, and then comparison of the uh, negative measures, likewise, and then good. Yeah. All right. Look at that. Yeah, likewise. Good. So this is showing a comparison. Yeah. And therefore, well done, winner. All right. <laughs> All right. So the first. First what we got is the topic, we got the topic sentence, yeah, all right? Talking about the similarities and differences between the Apple and Android. Think about what we were just talking about, yeah? Um, and so the next one we've got, uh, selection may depend on specific features. So what do we think? Moreover. Moreover, moreover yes. Yeah. So moreover for that one, okay, to, select, to put that, yeah? Um, Alan, Joyce, Guy, what about for the next one? For example? Yeah, good. Okay, so for example here, so hopefully you can see that the, the example is uh, a specific example of the features, yeah? All right. So do you agree yeah. that the Android does have bigger, bigger screens? Is that why you chose it? Yeah. But isn't the Apple getting bigger now? Yeah. It's longer. All right, how about this one? However. Let's move, let's all move, move on to this one, yeah? Okay. Now, did you all put however, yes? All right, so in regards to mobile gaming, modern media access, Apple seems to have more advantages. I agree. You agree? Yep. yep. Okay, well, Jonathan, what did you, you guys put for this one? Likewise. Okay, likewise. Yeah, likewise. Okay, so here is showing a comparison of some negatives. Apple surpasses the Android system in its ease of use. Well, that's what you guys told me, yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, some of you who like Apple. And the last one, all right, to, to end the paragraph. Therefore. Therefore, yeah, okay, so this is the result of all the previous sentences. Okay, the present smartphone is determined by the personal taste and purpose of users, yeah? Just to finally uh, sum up all the stuff that we've been learning today. Uh, cohesive devices, all right? So just with your group, okay, just have a little bit of a, a chat. Why is it important to use cohesive devices and how do you choose the most suitable sentence connector? So just have a chat with your group, okay? You can write some notes in your book if you want. What I think is, is to make paragraphs and sentences look much better and ease of ease of reading instead of ease of reading. Yeah, yeah. So instead of like reading just one sentence and one makes sentence. Sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it really just gives the sentence more meaning because it and indicates. It does indicate um, what kind of um, the content of the sentence, purpose whether it's the, sentence. the yeah. purpose. Yeah. 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 You say that they uh, make more, they make more sense logically. Yeah. as a academic. I say they make it more clear. Makes our paragraph easy to read. Easy to read. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How do you choose the most suitable sentence connector? I think it depends on the purpose of the sentence. Right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. Mm. definitely. For me, I usually try it. <laughs> okay, so I would, yeah. I would just read the next sentence. It depends on it. That's right. If it's a result or something like as a result or incomplete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. All right. You guys have been learning very well. <laughs> well. That concludes our class. There were lots of good responses in the discussion then. Some students said cohesive devices make the paragraph easier to read. That's true. Students also said that cohesive devices can help to make the meaning of the paragraph clearer. 
But apart from that, I think you should remember that cohesive devices are important to use as they communicate the writing purpose more effectively. And the purpose is to develop a paragraph logically by connecting the ideas in each sentence. So, cohesive devices are used to show the specific relationship between all the sentences and how they work together in the paragraph as a whole. When choosing sentence connectors, students said that one way is to read the sentence and choose depending on what sounds best in the context. Someone also said it depends on the purpose of the sentence. I would also go further and say that when choosing the most suitable sentence connector, you really need to think about the relationship of the sentence with the others in the paragraph and to consider the function of the sentence in the paragraph. For example, is it showing a cause and effect, a contrast or a comparison? Sentence connectors are very important for good academic writing, so don't forget to use them.